I've gotten a few emails from people who are confused about phantom power mixers and preamps. So I'd like to try to clear up some of that confusion. At a very basic level, what we're dealing with here is electricity. If you've ever done any music, you've worked with a dynamic mic like this one. If you sing or play an instrument into this microphone, the sound waves vibrate a little diaphragm, which will create a tiny bit of electricity. That tiny bit of electricity is what we call the audio signal. The problem with a dynamic mic is that it's not very sensitive. So for production work with film and video, we usually use condenser mics like these. This has a little electronic diaphragm in it, which is more sensitive than the mechanical diaphragm on the dynamic mic. But being electronic, it needs electricity to work. This particular microphone can be powered internally by a little battery or externally by a device that provides what's called phantom power. Either way, once the mic detects the sound, it generates a very tiny electrical signal, just like the dynamic mic does. So regardless of whether or not the microphone itself needs to be powered, what you wind up with out of the microphone is a very tiny amount of electricity, a very low audio signal. So to use that low audio signal for something, it needs to be amplified. And that's what a preamp does. Now, a DSLR, a little onboard mixer like this Juice Link, a standalone recorder like the Zoom, or a full-size field mixer like this Asden are all capable of amplifying that microphone signal. The difference is that the DSLR, which is not designed to process audio really, doesn't do a very good job. It adds hiss and noise to the audio signal during the amplification process. Dedicated audio products, on the other hand, do a great job of amplifying the signal without adding a lot of discernible noise to it. The Zoom does an okay job. It's not quite as good as the other two, but it's still way better than the DSLR. That's the basic reason to use some kind of preamp when you're working with a DSLR. The other reason to use a preamp is that all three of these devices will provide phantom power for your microphones. The DSLR will not. So, if you have a condenser mic like this one that requires power but doesn't take a battery, there's just nowhere to put it in, it won't work if you plug it into your DSLR. So to recap, phantom power allows a condenser microphone to work without a battery. A preamp improves the quality of your recorded sound and, usually, provides phantom power as well. So I hope this has been helpful. For more helpful information, visit 5dfilmmaking.com and check out my blog at vid35.com.